What I'd like to show you in this video is how in Alta 3.3 we've improved the way that you maintain and you manage your default encounter template. The thing you need to remember is the right click mouse button. So here I'm going into SO and I've got a default template set. And I've got some symptoms and physical findings in my template. Let's say for the sake of this example, I don't want medication list reviewed anymore. I could right click. And now we have a selection called remove from default. And you click that and that term will come off your list. All of the tabs work the same way. Here's exercise habits, remove that. In ROS, blurry vision, we'll take that off. And in the physical exam, here's an exam finding I don't use anymore. Right click, select remove. Now you might have a template that has a term that you'd like to use. So here's a cold template. Here's a symptom of headache. I want to add that to my template, my default template. So I'm going to right click and select add. And that term will go on. Let's find term, snoring. That's a symptom I want to add. Let's right click and add that. Now we've included this home button. If you click on the home button, that will take you right to your default template. So no matter where you are, loading templates and so forth, you can click the home button and it'll take you back to your default. Let's do a DX prompt. Let's search on diabetes. And what I want to show you is, now we're going to merge diabetes, the DX prompt symptoms with the default template. And those items from the DX prompt come back in blue. Now the HPI tab and the ROS tab bring back the same symptoms. So now, depending on which tab you're on, when you right click and add to default, that's the tab that that particular item is gonna be on. So here's worsening vision, we're on the HPI tab. Let's click the home button and you'll see that that term is on that tab. Let's try it again, DX prompt, We'll do diabetes again. It's going to merge. Let's go to the ROS tab now, and let's find a symptom that we're going to add to this tab. Let's try recent weight change. We'll add that to the default, click the home, and you can see that that term has been added. Now let's go to the assessment and plan module. Again, simple right click. So here's my default encounter template. Some terms, say I didn't want eustachian tube dysfunction, right click, remove. Here's physical trauma at work, right click and remove. We have any, anything that you see on this page, you can right click and add. So for example, we'll do a search on lateral epicondylitis. I can right click and add that term to my default template. If I click the home, scroll down, got those terms added. And the procedures tab works the same way. Let's take, say I don't do flex six anymore, I'll right click and remove. And let's take off the EKG down below, right click, remove. And now let's add it back. So I'm gonna do a search on EKG. I'll right click and add. Click the home button and you see that the EKG is added. Other therapies, this tab. Let's take off a high fiber diet. Comes off the list. Let's go ahead and add it back. High fiber, right click, add. I'll click the home button. There it is. In order sets, this is slightly different. Chest pain. Here's my chest x-ray. If I right click, you see that this remove from default is not active. It's gray. But if I select it first, then I right click, I could remove it. So that's the only difference. You have to select it first. Let's add some orders. Let's go to the lab tab and let's order CBC. I'll select it. Now here, you're going to say save to queue. Don't hit submit, say save to queue. Let's order a med. Type Motrin, let's put in our SIG and the amount. 
And here, save to queue. Let's do one more. Let's do an x-ray. Let's do the chest x-ray again. Now here, for x-rays, you have to put in a reason. And I just put in a period as a placeholder, since I never know what I'm ordering the chest x-ray for. In order sets, now you can see that these items are selected. And what we'll do is we'll just click the Add to Default template at the bottom. You can also do that from a right click. And let's close the window. Let's go ahead and close out of this window. Go back into AP in the Order Set tab, and you'll see those orders have been added. Now let's take off the Motrin, select, right click, and remove, and it comes off your list. So this is just a, a very quick way of managing your default and counter template now with the right click. I do want to show you one more thing if you did not have a default template set. So let's go ahead and take off the default. We'll close this and we actually have to go into a new patient encounter. So let's go into this one here. So this scenario is I don't have a default encounter template, as you can see from here. And what you can do is you can go and find one and right click and set it, or you could just simply start by finding terms on the medicine tree, right click, here's visit four. And if I say add to default template, the system now, let's click the home button. The system now has just created a default template for you and it named it my default template with a date. And you can systematically go through and add medicine terms that, you, that are common that you use commonly. And, and create your own default template.